Hello, and thank you for joining us today. This is the good, the bad, and the future, brought to you by Jennifer Gideon, IPAC, and Blueprint 2020. The federal government is the largest employer in Canada across all provinces and territories from coast to coast. Lately, there has been a lot of debate regarding its current state and its future. Blueprint 2020 is an opportunity for many individuals to voice their opinions and offer their suggestions for changes that will impact and improve the future of the public service. One of the main challenges facing the Government of Canada today is the lack of commonly used platforms for internal and external services. By changing this, the public service will be better able to serve its citizens internally, nationally and internationally as well. A common learning provider for the public service is important and will ensure consistent training to all employees, which is crucial in an ever-changing workplace. This also lends to the shift from regular classroom courses to e-learning options. By employing a common financial system like SEP, the government can ensure consistent interim cross-governmental financial operations, ensuring accuracy in its billing processes, establishing a corporate repository, eliminates the silos in the public service, and will allow greater information sharing. Currently moving towards a paperless workplace, the federal government is utilizing GC Docs as the corporate repository across the public service. And finally, by adopting common HR practices, the Government of Canada's internal and external operations will improve drastically. The streamlined processes will improve the way the public service hires its employees, improve assignment and job shadowing opportunities, and will ensure consistent screening processes and transparent staffing methods. These factors are all part of a growing trend to incorporate innovative ideas into the public service. A large part of this is related to today's young professionals' use of technology, social media and communications platforms allowing them to post their ideas and opinions and start discussions. Distance is no longer an obstacle in building relationships and working together. Flexible work arrangements, virtual teams and teleworking will become a staple of the future, which will not only bring our public service together, but will benefit our environment as well. Public service is in an exciting state of transformation and reinvention. Tune in for a follow-up news segment in 2020 on the public service, before and after. Thank you, and I'm Jennifer Gideon.